I've been pursuing the building of reeds modelled on certain kinds of musical instrument reeds, but attempting to subtract the musical component from the reeds in order that they be useful as, as, um, as an artificial larynx. The first m reeds I started making were modelled on bagpipe reeds, uh, which are double reeds, and the reason I chose those to model is that they occur inside a cavity. They're, they're actuated inside a cavity and therefore don't need lip contact, um, which of course would be difficult to, to simulate or um, model. So that's a reed, uh, it's actually a Spanish bagpipe reed. I made some plastic reeds modelled loosely on the double reeds, um, the goal being to try and make them uh, work at lower pressure because it actually takes more than human lung pressure to blow the bagpipe reeds. The goal, the goal is also to make them pitch controllable. And so it's possible to to get some pitch control with these. They're actually made of the simplest materials, blister pack plastic um, or plastic bottle plastic. That's seventh hour. So I use a, a vernier caliper to measure the thickness of the materials I'm working with. The difficulty with double reeds is it's going to be difficult to automate them. So I started looking at single reed construction. Single reed has a hard base and a, a vibrating reed. <coughs> These ones I made out of plastic tube. As you can see you get quite a range of pitch change. But this one only has a quarter inch bore, which was not allowing enough air to flow using the bellows. So I built a larger diameter plastic reed. <coughs> and that one had a, has a satisfactory amplitude at appropriate pressures. It also changes pitch rather nicely with changes in pressure. <coughs> I've made some wooden model reeds to test other geometries for, uh, for the reeds. This one's drilled out of a solid block of wood. Once again it has a blister pack piece of plastic. <coughs> Sounds like a duck. I was making some box shaped reeds. <coughs> which are more like organ pipe reeds in a sense. And they have a, a useful range of tones. <coughs> then I thought that making multiple reeds might uh, give me a wider range of, of frequencies. <coughs> so that's a two reeded box two separate air channels. And then this one is a four reed unit, which strangely doesn't sound well. It has quite a nice kind of mixed set of mixed frequencies. This is a preliminary model of a machine actuatable vocal tract model. It's made of latex, different thicknesses of latex, with a kind of hard palate area um, reinforced with, with plexiglass curves and then a softer latex kind of cheek area and a set of lips made of folded latex tube and it actually has a tongue in there which is independent and movable and the idea was that by mechanically actuating the tongue movement and the lip movement 
one could uh, produce something vaguely like vocal sounds. Um, So you can see that the lips work, but unfortunately the tongue moving the tongue has no effect. <laughs> Not much effect anyway. So that's an active research area.